It's the 102nd anniversary of the CC Bloody P. And just look at that beautiful communism on full display there. The glorious flag there representing freedom, democracy, and the Chinese way. Wait, <laughs> let me start again. The commie red flag there representing repression, tyranny, and the CCP's way. <laughs> That's more like it. Now, of course, you can't really have a CCP anniversary without China going full-blown giga-nationalist, and that includes pumping up the rhetoric on the whole Taiwan reunification thing. Every time I see one of these CCP dick-riding events, they always mention Taiwan in one way or another, but this year, it seems a little bit different. <laughs> Almost like the mighty CCP are losing their confidence. The CCP leaders are usually so brazen and cocksure of themselves. Yi 台灣從來都是中國領土不可分割的一部分 But recently, it seems that the CCP are taking a little step back with their lame-ass rhetoric. Well, this is according to US Army General Mark Milley, who says that Xi Jinping is undecided on whether to order military unification with Taiwan by 2027. <laughs> First of all, that's good to hear. And hopefully, Xi Jinping and the CCP will always remain hesitant and unsure when it comes to invading Taiwan. But this whole language in the quote kind of pisses me off a bit. I mean, military unification? What does that even mean? <laughs> Seriously, we need to get these unification and reunification words out of our vocabulary altogether when talking about Taiwan and China. It's not unification, and it's definitely not reunification. It's an invasion, full stop. The CCP doesn't want to unify with Taiwan. It wants to take over. It wants to force its draconian style of government on the democratic country of Taiwan. It's kind of like the Borg in Star Trek. You know, resistance is futile. I mean, can anybody seriously trust the Chinese government after what they did in Hong Kong? Especially Taiwan. When Hong Kong was wrongfully handed over to the CCP, that's right, I said wrongfully handed over because the agreement was signed by the Qing Dynasty in the UK, not the People's Republic of China in the UK. In fact, in my opinion, the rightful party that had claim to Hong Kong was the Republic of China or Taiwan because they inherited China from the Qing Dynasty, not the People's Republic of China. Anyway, that's going off topic a little bit. The fact is that in 1997, the United Kingdom reluctantly signed an agreement with China called One China, Two Systems. So that agreement stated that the system of communist China would not be practiced in the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, HKSAR, and that Hong Kong's previous capitalist system would remain unchanged for a period of 50 years, which means that it should be left alone until 2047. Well, 
I guess China didn't really stick to their end of the bargain. What a surprise. <laughs> they had extradition bills, national security law, bypassing the HKSAR to directly legislate and create a new legal framework more in line with the Communist Party of China. That's what the CCP did in Hong Kong. Hong Kongers are slowly but surely losing all of the freedom that they once had, and now Hong Kong sadly has become just another city in communist China. One country, two systems, my ass. More like one country, one system. A big, dystopian nightmare of a system. Why can't the CCP do what former Taiwanese president Jiang Jingguo said when discussing the prospect of unifying with China and make it one China, a better system? <laughs> I think that's hilarious. So anyway, with Xi Jinping saying that he's basically undecided on whether or not to invade Taiwan, this means that he's basically admitting that Taiwan is not currently a part of the People's Republic of China, because why would you need to unify with a part of the world that already belongs to you? <laughs> and furthermore, why would you need to use your military to do this unification? It doesn't make sense. In my opinion, I think that the US Army General is right in his assessment. The second the Western world shows any sign of weakness, China will take that opportunity to strike. The reason why China is becoming less confident in their ability to successfully invade Taiwan is because they're seeing how lousy a job their dictator buddy Putin is doing in his unjust invasion of Ukraine. China has had their eye on invading Taiwan for over 70 years now, but have always hesitated because they know that if they tried to take the island by force, then it would drag the rest of the world into the conflict, and they know that they can't win that kind of war. Which is why they're all about pushing their bullshit soft power propaganda and hoping that all of us idiots in the West fall for it. <laughs> Good job, China. So anyway, I'm all for the US upgrading their military a bit more if it means that the dictator Xi Jinping will continue to have just the tiniest bit of doubt in his pea-sized brain, and that the beautiful country of Taiwan will remain untouched by the CCP forever. And that's right, Taiwan is a country. <laughs>